There are some surprisingly healthy parts of foods that we're just simply not eating. So let's take a look at the parts of foods that you may have been throwing away and not eating unnecessarily. And stick around to the end of the video to see one food that you should never eat. Beep Strawberries are one of my favorite foods, but as it turns out, there's a whole lot of health benefits you can miss by avoiding the stems. Throw the entire berry into your smoothie as the stems are rich in disease-fighting polyphenols and minerals. They also contain tannins that have low pH levels and can actually help with digestion. Zest doesn't just mean great enthusiasm and energy, but it's also the outer covering of citrus fruit and happens to be rich in terpenes that actually give our body some protection from cancer cells and aging from oxidation. And it's not just the peel, but the pith, the white part around the flesh, it contains hesperidin, a phytonutrient that has been shown to lower blood cholesterol, reduce blood pressure, and decrease inflammation. Outermost part of onion. No, the onion won't suck toxins out of your feet. Give me the claims, hit me with them. It will clean your blood. God, why am I so angry? But you can boost the nutrition of your soups, stews, and rice using onion skins. They're rich in quercetin, a flavonoid that has anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, anti-allergy, exercise improving, grain protective properties, just to name a few. Do aim for the red over yellow onions to get more of that quercetin boost. Praised by the liver king himself. Liver is known as nature's multivitamin as it's one of the most nutrient dense foods. It's incredibly high in vitamin A in the form of retinol, which is the already active form. It's a great low calorie, high protein food. But again, make sure you're watching your saturated fat and cholesterol intake. Broccoli and cauliflower stalks. Fun fact, did you know broccoli's actually a flower? <laughs> It's easy to look and think that the green leaves are the only nutritious part of the veggie, but in reality, the stems contain healthy amounts of antioxidants and fiber just like the leaves. The sulforaphane found in the stems and leaves actually has potential as a cancer-fighting compound. Watermelon is more than the perfect summertime snack because while the bright red center is delicious, the rinds are useful as well. Pickled watermelon rinds are filled with citrulline, an amino acid that helps relax and dilate arteries, which can be good for your blood pressure, workouts, and even sex. And it has more fiber and potassium than the actual inside of the watermelon. Eat your heart out might not just be an old saying after all, as beef heart has a similar texture and a taste to a fine steak, yet it's inexpensive, probably because folks are hesitant to eat it. But it's actually a lean piece of meat with a low saturated fat content in comparison to other meats. It is considered a high cholesterol food, so be wary. Carrot tops. No, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about them. Remember, the orange part is actually the root of the vegetable and the green leafy portion, which can be tossed in a salad, added to a salsa or a hummus, have six times the vitamin A as compared to the orange part. Pineapple cores might sound kind of off-putting, but hear me out here. The entire pineapple core included is a solid source of bromelain, a protein digesting enzyme that has shown to have incredible medical potential from anti-inflammatory effects to helping with fungal and bacterial infections. It is a little less sweet and firmer, but if eaten raw, it still packs the same nutritious punch as the rest of the pineapple flesh. There's nothing tongue in cheek about tongue, or veal tongue anyway. While it may have a high cholesterol content, it is rich in zinc, iron, and vitamin B12. Both iron and vitamin B12 help replenish nutrients that are low when you're anemic, while zinc is an important nutrient to keep your immune system in tip top shape, especially during a pandemic. Turns out banana peels are useful for more than just Mario Kart. <laughs> Eating a banana whole seems rather untasty, but the peel does become thinner and sweeter as it ripens, so maybe you can wait a few days for the banana peel to develop some spots. Bananas are known for their high potassium content with a fruit averaging about 400 milligrams. The peel contains an additional almost 80 milligrams of potassium, plus plenty of filling fiber. Banana bread actually became such a huge hit during the pandemic, and a simple way to start using those peels is just to throw them into the banana bread for a boost of fiber. Care about your eyesight? Then you're gonna wanna hear this. Beet greens contain two phytonutrients, lutein and zeaxithin, which have been shown to protect against age-related eye problems. One study actually found that people who ate foods rich in them were half as likely to get cataracts. If you're chopping the leaves from this veggie, then you're tossing away more iron per serving than spinach. Cucumber peels are yummy, healthy, and worth their weight in gold. 
Okay, maybe not that last part, but the first two are true. Sadly, when you peel a cucumber, you're lowering the vitamin K content by about 56% than if you were to eat it whole. And vitamin K supports bone health and blood clotting. Just be sure to wash it well to remove the wax coating that's often applied to prevent bruising during transport. And if possible, aim for the organic sort to reduce possible pesticide contamination. Full kiwis, including the kiwi skin, have become one of my go-to late night snacks. Do you scoop out the inside with a spoon? Well, you're missing out. You can triple the fiber intake when you eat the entire kiwi. Just make sure that you wash it well and possibly go for the organic kind to cut down on possible pesticide exposure. While it might make you sick to your stomach to think about, an animal stomach shouldn't. Tripe refers to the edible muscle walls of the stomachs of animals like cows, buffalo, and sheep who have multiple compartments in their stomachs. Tripe is low in calories, yet rich in protein, vitamin B12, and the mineral zinc and selenium. The one food that you should never eat Although if you swallow one whole, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Cherry pits. Inside of them, if they are crushed, there is a compound known as prussic acid, which is essentially cyanide. So do not chew on cherry pits. Spit them out. Thank you. Why are people's hands always cold? I answer that question and so many more on the streets in LA. Watch this, because I miss human interaction. <laughs> Click there. As always, stay happy and healthy. I'll see you in this video. See it, click it, watch people make fun of me. They do, why?